When people ask me how I clone plants, starting from an original and ending up with lots of uh, young plants, I, I've created this really cool little rooting chamber. And what it is, is it's a, a bunt cake pan turned upside down. And I've, how well is this going to show up? I've drilled holes here to allow air to pass through and so that I can pour water down into the bottom without um, without taking this apart which isn't real easy to do and then I've also poked holes in the bottom of the the bunt part uh, so down here there are holes and one of the cool things about this is that by by doing that and by filling the level just right, see if I can make this visible, you can see that the water, uh, just from water's natural um, cohesive or adhesive uh, surface tension effect, is wicking itself up to the bottom of the planter so that moisture is continuously wicking up into the soil as needed. Plants when they're first rooting, when you put them into root, they they don't need much moisture uh, in the ground, they just need it in the air. They need a certain amount, it's called uh, field capacity. And this basically maintains field capacity in the soil and also maintains a high humidity in the surrounding area so that the there's the plants aren't stressed. They have time to put out roots before there's any demands caused by evaporation from their from any leaves that are on them. On this particular plant, um, I only have one cutting that has a leaf on it. Most of them are just sticks that will grow their own. Um, these they're hoyas. They grow leaves after they've rooted they start this only had one leaf on it when I put it in this had no leaves and I don't know how well you can see it but uh, there is a leaf a couple of leaves starting to emerge now Let's see if I, yeah they're, they're just barely coming out but this was plain stick when I first put it in so yeah that's uh, but this is a little chamber you just buy a couple of bunt cakes one makes the bottom and the middle and you, you need a separate top you could use something different for a top like a, a cut off uh, a gallon a j gallon jug with the bottom cut off and the lid put on anything that will fit over the covered area and allow light through anyway i hope that's helpful to somebody